This all takes place in Canada's Northwest Territories. There's a section of forest there that has been designated to do crown fire experiments. There's lots of thick, dense lodgepole pine, and they will set it afire with a flamethrower. And they're spraying this uh, flammable liquid into the trees. The whole goal is to light one half of the test plot with as much fire as quickly as they can so that it will get up into the top of the trees and just run right through the forest. Here's the view from one of our fire cameras. So it's this kind of idyllic setting here. You're in the forest. What you can't see is the fire that's coming behind us. And it's setting up such a big dark smoke column that it actually blocks out the sun and makes it look like night for a moment. And at the same time, there are uh, embers landing, creating those little spot fires here and there. And that's how fire spreads, even crown fire. It jumps out ahead of itself by starting these small little fires and the main flaming front is coming from behind and you can see how windy it gets. That's wind that the fire column is making just through convection. So there's so much heat goes up so quickly air has to come in and replace it. So that's what that wind is. Here you can see the fire. This is not speeded up. It, it's in real time and you can see how quickly it just burns everything up and how different the landscape looks. The most compelling thing about fire is that you're seeing this, one of nature's fiercest forces, up close. When you see this force of nature just tearing through the forest, you feel really small and insignificant. And at the same time, you feel like you're getting a real close-up glimpse of something that's been going on for millions of years.